Welcome back to another episode of Let Us Be Sustainable. I'm Frank, and today I'm talking about um, pests. Um, last season, I had a hell of a time with pests. It was like a biblical plague. I swear, it was one thing after another. It was the thrips, it was aphids, it was spider mites, it was a raccoon. It was just one thing after another to the point where I almost gave up. Uh, Even I was a pest, to tell you the truth. Because I thought the solution for the raccoon was using a peppermint oil. But for me to find the really quick solution, I didn't read the instructions and I sprayed the dahlias with them. And that was a disaster. You can look back on one of the videos on that. It says disaster and the dahlia patch. And what I wound up doing was burning all the leaves on every single dahlia. I mean, it was bad. At that point, I was going to throw in the towel. But um, dahlias are a lot tougher than you think. And uh, they sprung back and I did have a very decent uh, flower bloom last year. Now... You'll notice that I have this gray tarp on the floor. It was my first defense for pest management for me. Because a lot of these pests um, overwinter in the ground. So right before the spring hit, I covered the whole dahlia patch where I'm about to grow in this tarp. It doesn't let anything up. If anything was going to hatch out of the ground it is going to stay there and die hopefully i can remove this next season and i won't have a big pest problem it has helped because i don't have thrips and um they've been a problem but not so bad Because I have other shrubs planted in the garden that, if you look closely, were attacked by the aphids. And this is an apple tree, and this is a disaster. I mean, it still has fruits. I don't use chemicals in my backyard because I have honeybees. And I want to be able to not use any chemicals when it comes to collecting honey from my hives so I don't want that but what the apple did apple tree did serve as was it attracted the aphids to the tree and not towards the dahlias Um, in any case while the aphids were attacking the apple tree that gave enough time for the predators that go after the aphids to start laying eggs in the apple tree and now I have ladybugs um, nymphs growing in there and they are eating all the aphids now some of the ladybugs laid eggs on my dahlias and I have um, ladybug aphids eating um, ladybug nymphs eating all the aphids that do wind up on the dahlias and that's what I figured out was happening to the one that was dwarfed I could understand why it wasn't growing and it was because it was being attacked by the aphids it was just sucking it dry and you can see the damage that they've caused and for some reason they do like the ones that are um, solid green like the ones with the red stems have less insect attack than the ones that are green. Uh, for instance, let's go to this one. Something is really having a feast of a time with this one. You know, it's getting chewed up. Meanwhile, this one is fine. It's right next to it. 
This one is fine. It's right next to it. So they're doing okay. They're not even touched. Do they have aphids? Yes. Uh, but like I said, the uh, ladybugs have been doing their job. And they are literally uh, declaring war on these aphids. So um, bio pest control is my preferred method of pest management. So I've grown other trees and shrubs and plants that will attract the aphids in their direction to prevent them from taking hold on my dahlia stock. And that gave enough time for the predators to move in and deal with the aphids. So I got that under control. And they are doing good. They're about to bloom. Here we go. Let's see if that'll focus. There we go. And there's this is one of the seedlings from Sylvia and I got a bloom. These are one of my crosses and I can't wait for this one. To start to bloom it has beautiful leaves beautiful um, Sylvia is an orange ball so I am trying to find out what this one's gonna be blooming like its sibling is just as beautiful and it hasn't had a bloom yet. It doesn't have a bud yet, but it will. And they're getting there. Um, I will show you a picture of the ladybug nymphs that I've been taking residence in the dahlia patch, which is great. I am so happy to see them. I prefer that method than chemicals. Um, here's something is chewing this one as well, but I, I don't think it liked it very much because it didn't chew most of it. And that's one of the seedlings from Fox Point Flower Farm. And they're doing okay. They're growing exponentially. This one is going to be a large dahlia. So yeah, between the gray tarp, the apple tree, which has been the magnet for all the pest pests. And um, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. See, I still got apples on it. But boy, it was bad. Look at this. That's all aphid damage. All of it. But let's see. And this is what I'm talking about. Look, that's what you want to see. This little critter right here, which will most likely Let's see if I can find a more developed one. Is there a more developed one somewhere? I just saw one this morning, unless it already hatched. Because it turns into a beautiful little ladybug. Well, it must have, um, it must have hatched. All right, well, can't find it right now. Those little guys are helping me. Here's another one. There we go. Yeah, go after it, go after it, go. Go after it. That was almost lunch. <laughs> so good. And that's helping me take care of this Dahlia patch. I still have more potting up to do 
now that my back is feeling a little better so I can catch up because I'm really behind I'm seriously behind but that's it for what I have today um, I will set another video up in, next week hopefully something will bloom so we can start evaluating which one of these are uh, our keepers and which of them are, will have to go and start this year's uh, crosses. I'm kind of excited about that. Uh, so if you have any questions, comments, let me know how I'm doing. I would greatly appreciate your feedback. Any suggestions, love that too. Let me know how I'm doing. So until next time, thanks for watching. Well, if you see this little guy here, I don't, I don't know if you guys know what it is. This is a ladybug larvae. As you know, I don't use pesticides in my dahlia patch because I have, I'm also a beekeeper. So I'm not gonna use anything chemically that can be systemic into the dahlias that would endanger my honeybees or ultimately wind up in my honey. Uh, last year I had, like I said earlier, a problem with the thrips and it was out of control um, nope, I'm out of focus here uh, in order to combat that problem like I mentioned earlier was the gray tarp but this year the ladybugs actually were attracted to my patch this year and they have laid their eggs and um, they have taken care of the uh, aphid problem. So I'm not working against nature here. I'm trying to work with it. So if you see these little guys, let them do their thing. They will clean up all that aphid problem for you. Wait, wait, before we go, <laughs> before I sign off, that is a more developed one. I found it. That is going to turn into a ladybug. You see? You want these kinds of predators to eliminate your aphids. Attract these into your garden. And uh, they will save your dahlia patch, boy. So this year, I think I'll have more luck. Bye. <laughs>